here with us. Thank you, Omar, for your patience here. No Omar. problem. How are you? Omar from Third Rail with Omar. The Comforter. C-O-M-F-O-R-T-E-R. -E the Comforter underscore one. Numeral one. On X, Twitter. Yeah. Is back with Hake. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hanging in there. Wearing your Alabama shirt and your Cubs. Oh, you see me already? How are you? Yeah. Uh, am I am I on or no? You are on. Uh, can you hear him chat? Press one if you can hear him. But yeah. Uh, Let me see what I'm on. So how's everything? First, I want to apologize for running late. Um, You're fine. I, I actually it worked out for me. I wanted to get to some super chats and stuff. Oh, okay, first. it was great because you know. Uh, the noon prayer is around 12.08. Uh, so I, I said, let me pray first. Okay. So it will be a good meeting, you know. Noon prayer, so, uh, that's your Muslim prayer, yeah. right? Yeah, I pray five times a day. So it was, it was 12.08 because time changes. Every day changes with the the more the, the daylight changes. Yeah. Yeah, last time it wasn't this around. Anyway, how you feeling, Hake? You looking good, man. What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting trying to get a little bit more sleep than you. Go to, going to bed on time early enough. Uh, yeah, last time you exercise, sunshine. Last time, I'll be honest with you, you looked exhausted. Oh yeah, I probably was. Yeah, his face would look at that. I said, "Let me make him feel good." Oh, you look good, Hake. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so are we on? Uh, we're on, right? Okay. Yes, indeed. Uh, first, uh, uh, oh, oh, there you go. I am the, the handsome-looking Arab. Indeed. Okay, I just, I just look at you. Well, I, I'm feeling good. Uh, thank God. I want to say hi to everybody. I want to say hi to your to your followers on all platforms. Cool. Uh, I hope they've grown to like me after a while. Cause I think I some my, of them do. I had my uh, Trump hat, but I said, I don't want to be a hypocrite and wear it. <laughs> so you own a Trump it. hat, but you're not a, you are not. No, I'm just trying to be a, a spoiler. I want to destroy the system. You understand? Because they keep on saying, oh, if Trump is elected, we're going to have a civil war. If he's elected, America's democracy is going to end. Okay, let's see how he's going to end. I want to see it. <laughs> I don't like, you know, I don't like that uh, that, that fear mongering by the left. If you don't vote for Biden, then America is going to go to to hell or it's going to break down into pieces. You yeah, understand what I'm trying to say here. I do see what you're trying to say. I yeah. agree with that. Uh, yeah. you, that's one of the things I wanted to bring up with you today. Was yeah. uh, do you you I, dropped a bomb on us last time you came on the show and uh, Frederick. From Los Angeles, my caller yeah. talked about Cornell West, and you said you support or supported I, Cornell West. I do. I do support. You know why I support Cornell West? I know he's not going to win, but it's a conscience vote. Um, I think, he, uh, you know, sometimes we vote for the wrong people in this country. If you listen to Colonel West, you will see that he's a good man. He's a good thinking man. He's a fair man. He's a good Christian, by the way. Uh, is I mean, he? You got, uh, he is a very good Christian. I think uh, that's. He's very religious. I mean, but he's like the black man. socialist type of a Christian, right? Uh, no, but I mean, he's religious. Every time he, he has an interview, he says, uh, he always mentions Christianity. He always mentioned the, the, the Lord uh, and the goodness of, of, of Christ. And I think he should be appreciated because it's coming from a source of a person who knows what he's talking about. Not like Trump. Told, oh, we got to bring Christianity back. Christianity. Yeah. Where are you going to bring it back from? Christianity is here. America is a, Christ <laughs> America is a Christian country. I mean, right. why, why are we going to kill each other here? The only thing is we got we to gotta convince Christian to go back to church. That's all we got to do. You understand? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, uh, right, uh, right, I, right. I think that Trump is more of a real guy, though, than um, Cornell West. <laughs> Cornell West may be more less phony, perhaps, than Biden and, you know, these establishments types. But Cornel West, he's that type of Christianity is an imposter of Christianity, in my opinion. I, I do appreciate that. Um, I do appreciate that he set, talks about Christianity, that he's pro Christianity. But that's like there were a lot of phonies during Jesus's time, for example, and they hated yeah. Jesus. And so I, I personally think that the Christians who hate Trump. Or who think that Trump, or the people who think that Trump is this phony, Trump is just a genuine guy. He's not necessarily all into the Bible and the Christian, Christiany Christian thing, but he's just genuine. He treats people well. He's honest as he can be. He's real. He's genuine. What you see is what you get. I love that about him. I'm just not, you know, uh, I want, you know, 
you, you always have me on your show, and I want to be as honest with you as much as possible. Yeah, Is I like okay, that. Right or wrong? Of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, oh, I messed up the, the thing. Um, Trump is not a Christian, and he has nothing to do with Christianity. And but Christianity, wait, he says on, it Christianity, is. Okay. No, no, no. He's just saying that. Christianity <laughs> is innocent of him. You understand? And for him to uh, uh, to tag along to Christianity, I think he does more disservice to the religion. Because he, he, go, he, he doesn't go to church. He doesn't go on Sundays. I, never, he, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, that's the, the, that's the most thing you could do as a Christian is go, is go to church on Sunday and praise the Lord and, 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 and you know, and conjugate with your fellow uh, um, Christians. This man is... is but uh, he does is, uh, his rallies. His rallies are kind of like meeting, gathering with the fellowship of believers. Because you should... You, you're right. You should all... The Bible even says, don't yeah. give up meeting together. It, uh, to Christians, uh, but he's always meeting up with fellow Christians and non-Christians. So you don't have to go to church to be a Christian, you know? He does he's his rallies, prophet. he meets with people a lot. He fellowships. He's a, he's a false prophet. How? Oh. Um, <laughs> what's there's, what's there's, something false that he says? There's a verse in the Bible mm -hmm. where, pe where people go to Jesus and they tell them, oh, uh, Jesus, we did everything in your name. We built hospitals. We healed the sick. We did this. And Jesus said, get away from me. Get away from me. I never knew you, you vipers. Or you, something to that term. I think it's in Matthew. Yeah. Th these are the kind of people who use God as a purpose just for political reason. Trump has nothing to do with Christianity. Uh, he He's just using it just to get the, you guys all, um, you get you all like, acting up in the, yeah. those rallies, you know. Uh, Christianity is not about... Um, just said we got to bring it back. Like, what did he go out of style or something? It has year, a no? lot in a lot of ways. I have a, I had a guest earlier this week named um, uh, Jockle, Deep Left Jockle, D L J O K L is his. I saw yeah. You, yeah. YouTube, and he talked about how Christianity has come. It's very in vogue to attack Christianity. You're not one of those, but there's a lot of atheists who dismiss Christianity and they they want to say America is not a Christian nation. And, yeah, I, I I agree with you, but there's a lot in the culture that is not very Christian. You know this Christians, right? Yeah, a lot of Christians are not very Christian, and a lot of uh, they're attacking values. their own religion. Yeah, and so same with the what you call them, the J boys. <laughs> they yeah, many yeah, of the them. With, oh, oh, they they take all many of them are not. They're kind of antagonistic towards Christians. Exceptions to the rule, you know. Dennis Prager is cri pretty Christian friendly. Oh, but that's, these are the, these are the worst ones you got to watch for. These are the worst ones there because they're just in it to make profits. There they, are, they just, yeah, you have to. It's a, it's a shakedown. They shake all the Christian for the money and say, "Oh, we got come on." Could man. be. You probably have, you probably have like four houses, four houses in Jerusalem. Come on, man. Don't, <laughs> don't wait. Who has four? Was a, wait, who has four houses in Jerusalem? Major. He make he makes eighteen million dollars a year from a nonprofit organization. Nice. What profit? I mean, this guy's. Listen. Uh huh. Not not all people who come on 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 YouTube or have these organizations say they're Christian. That that they are Christian. The right. Christians are the people that you don't hear. They go to church on Sunday. They do good. The people I know right. from my neighborhood, the people I meet as a businessman when I used to be a businessman, people are humble. Um, they don't talk a lot about their faith, but you know they're faithful. Right. You know like Trump. These are the real genuine people. Who are real Christians. Like Trump, he, you don't hear Christians. him saying all this Christianese, if you will. You know what I mean by Christianese? Trump has dementia. You know that, right? They both have dementia. You, he has we're, dementia? We're, we're, <laughs> both, That's okay. Uh, both, both of them. You know, yesterday he was saying a lot about, um, we, we got a, uh, we, about uh, American citizens. We put them in hotels and forgetting all our veterans. He, uh, try, he was trying to say figure, legal aliens. How do you figure that he has dementia? Well, he's saying a lot of crazy If you've been listening to his speeches, he's been talking a lot of off- I don't, he he, he missed. He, he's misspeaking more often than before. A, a, a lot. He's called. I mean, like that could be. I don't know. I haven't paid attention. Well, I've yesterday been he stuff. was trying to say I think illegal aliens are put in hotels instead of veterans. But he was saying uh, American citizens for a long time, who've been citizens for a long time, are being put in hotels, but the veterans are not. He's not make. Oh, you know but that happens. At? People misspeak. You know, jail. Not every day. No, no, every day. And then before that, he called. He called Israel's capital Israel, and he's the one who moved the, the capital to Jerusalem. Yeah. The J, when the J-Boys gave him $100 That's million. That's not necessarily a... It may be, but it's not necessarily a sign of dementia. You know, what I want is... It's okay. But you, but you, but you kind of like this uh, <laughs> Trump running, and between Trump and Biden... Who Biden, would, is not gonna, Biden is not going to get elected. You between know, Trump and, and the Democrats, who would you want... The Democrats as they are right now, who would you want... President, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I I'm not gonna vote for Biden. Yeah. And, and and I'm hoping that Biden loses. But I also don't want Trump to win. I wish they would shoot somebody. Maybe he'll pass out or go to jail or something. And get a good a good real uh, Republican. Old time Republicans who really love the country will have real conservative values, not just some guy who was a couple of years who was uh, pro choice, pro uh, LGBTQ right. community, who's yeah. pro everything. All of a sudden, he gets elected. Well, we gotta, you know, we gotta get those evangelists. We gotta bring Christianity back. <laughs> but Christianity is there. We live in a country. Our values, are American values. A source from the Christian values. The don't you like? Based- don't you like that Trump didn't start new wars? Like, yes, he bombed Syria, but he didn't. He didn't go as far as they wanted. He didn't. He didn't go to war with Iran. You know, what under I him, like Putin Trump- didn't uh, do anything crazy. Kim Jong Un was calming long, down. Don't you like that? As, as long as the J boys are over, running all over the White House, you guys are not gonna gonna have a country or a real country. I know, but. What, what can whatever. real Americans? What, what can Christians take over the government? I mean, what do you guys? You don't have no Christians. I mean, 130 million Christians. You can, we cannot get a Secretary of State who Christian. We cannot get a Treasury who's a Christian. We cannot get a, a head of the CIA who's Christian. We cannot get a head of the Homeland Security who's a Christian. Apparently, we cannot get a head of the Treasury who's a. You don't have nobody there. You, yeah, you, apparently nowhere. we don't have the talent, the know-how, this cunning. The trickery, the the money. Yeah, they don't have that. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the problem is yeah, that. They, 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 but I'm okay. I'm okay. As far everybody, whoever gets in there is going to have to work with um, the the Jewish people because they're they've made themselves. J boys, the J boys. You got to the J boys. Yeah, yeah um, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. J boys well, sounds what, what a little Donald bit. J boys sounds a little bit disrespectful. I, I'm a I'm a respectful person. No, but, uh, is, is, but yeah, uh, I, anybody who, let me make this point. Anybody who gets yeah. in there is going to have to work with them. You're going to have to work with them. And Trump works with yeah. them in a way that's beneficial for both. He doesn't, I, I, he doesn't work with them th- in ways that are entirely detrimental to America. You can argue that there are some things that are det- detrimental. You know, oh, he violated it, some freedom of speech on college campuses. Like college campuses are even important nowadays. They're not. No. They're destructive. Go ahead. Donald Trump, when he was president, he could have recruited like um, regular people, like um, people who are uh, uh, um, straight, instead of bringing people from uh, Golden Sachs. He bought, he bought the whole crew from from uh, Wall Street yeah. right into the White House, and he was supposed to get rid of the uh, the swamp. Yeah, he bought the New York City swamp with all the way in there. And everybody was out for himself. That's why his presidency wasn't successful. They were leaking a lot of stuff. They were cre- they were creating more obstacles for him than they were really helping him. You know, to the point is he will make a decision. They'll say okay, but never go through it, and he'll forget later that he'd said it. This is what they were doing to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't disagree with the the swamp that he brought in when he was trying to clear the swamp. swamp. Yeah, yeah a lot of, of course. Swamp, yeah. But think about it. Like in his defense, yeah. as the swamp goes, he did yeah. some stuff that was that was he good, did, he, and uh, he, and, he and you have to me. you have to uh, bring in some swamp because the swamp has to approve of your cabinet positions. A lot of the cabinet po- has to be approved by the Senate, and the Senate is the swamp too. And so the they'll, Senate they'll, the Senate and, has and to he, approve he bro- them. He can't appro- he, he bro- can't bring somebody based to the White House. And all the people he got from <laughs> Congress, like Pompeo, like the other guy, like oh, yeah. they all—they were Terrible. all crooked. They, were, they all ran away in ba- under a cloud of scandal. Yeah, every single person he picked was a crook. Nobody came. I don't know. But, Let me see your name. One. Name me one person. Let's think. Uh, Pence. Pence is good. That's a good Christian. That's a I real Christian. Liked him. I kind of like. I don't him. like. Though I don't like. He went to Israel and signed his name on the bombs. They're gonna kill children. Oh, uh, he did that. And, 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 yeah, and he Mike didn't Pompeo, know that it was gonna kill children. Well, Pence I mean, those wouldn't bombs, do that. Pence those bombs do that. Were, were ready to go to the to the you know these are bombs that were, they were going to get used. Yeah. And, and he was, what about uh, and Pompeo and, and Mike Pompeo, the good evangelist? He goes, he started dancing with the Israeli soldiers. I mean, it's okay to you, dance with the soldiers. That just not that he, just that not means, co-signing if the soldiers do something bad. Not that that means he doesn't own himself. He's a secretary, former secretary of state, right? A former congressman. A former head of was the he a CIA. congressman? I didn't know that. Yeah, he was Pompeo. a congressman. That's where he got him. Uh, he was—I uh, don't know what state. I forgot. Uh, he was state he's out of. He's another crooked individual. Uh, yeah. Pompeo, and I mean, for you to do that, first of all, it does not look good on you. 
I mean, you, but, you are a diplomat by nature. I, I just don't know but, what it is. But all this stuff that you're saying, that applied to Obama, to Biden, to every yeah, single I, one. I, you I have told you. My point is you have to work with these people and you know, like, give them another chance. You'll be like better him. this time. I, I, you know, Obama, I didn't like him. You know that, right? Yeah, Obama was the most ruthless president. He killed more people. But people don't know with the drones. Yep. He killed a lot of thousands of people with the drone program. And many of them, 90% of them were all innocent civilians. Nobody says oh, that. Wow. He, yeah, he Is that true, he though? Because you, yeah. you say stuff that I don't know if it's true. Go ahead. Look, you could Google everything. We, are we, not, we live in the Google age. You I know, but I don't, I'm want. not interested in the truth, really. No, but I mean, I, the I'm facts. telling you that 90% <laughs> yeah. of the civilians that were killed under the drone program by Obama, uh -huh. who should be a war criminal, by the way, um, well, well, he killed a lot of people at weddings, uh, uh, funeral procession, uh, family gatherings. Is it so? You know, uh, Islamic culture, people get together a lot. You know, they get in groups, like 10, 20 people. And he just did all that stuff. He had a good game. He used to talk. Um, we got to have hope. You got a good chance. He's a good, he was a good communicator. That's all he was. Yeah. And his I don't know he, about... I don't know about... The uh, claims really, you know, that you're making really, in terms of killing civilians and all that thing, it may be yeah, true. I mean, I, it may well be I, true. No, everybody knows that. Everybody but says, but sometimes, they say that. so like the claim is, like a lot of Israelis will claim and, and Americans will claim that these people use human shields or they'll go among the civilians so that civilians get hurt too or so that we're less, um, so that we're less apt to shoot at them because we might get civilians. And then yeah, Obama's like, you know, they're doing it. Those civilians, they know what they're doing by uh, hanging around these people and they're putting their own lives at risk. And so we just have yeah, to do it. I dis I think I disavow it, but that's what they're claiming for a lot of these things. Human shield, the human th shield thing. I don't you know, know, man. You I see, uh, these are feel good statements. Yeah. Uh, but all of it, isn't it feel good statement for you? Because you're making yeah. a claim, but you weren't there. You know, you. No, wait a minute, I'm there. The guy was like, what, two, two arms away? I mean, no, I, I'm saying you were, he, you, were, you were here in America when this happened. You weren't over no, there amongst is, the crowd that got the, the No, but this is a fact. This is a study that was done by third, uh, 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 third parties, independent uh -huh. parties. I mean, respectable, Human Rights Watch, international. Uh. I mean, this is... This is not the stuff where I'm talking. Anyway, we're not here to defend Obama. Obama right. No, I'm, and I'm not even trying to defend Obama. Yeah, he, I'm, just trying to, more, I'm just trying no, to he, establish he was, that, he, that I don't he, know he the truth. A, he, he used to walk around with a list in his pocket for assassination. Who are they going to assassinate? Oh, wow. uh, Michelle, what do you think? We should get Abdul or Ali today. Which one of them? <laughs> eeny, meeny, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. Oh, mo. That's it. Let's get mo. The whole idea is that... Um, is, that is that a real story? Or are you just no, kind no, of I'm just, no? I'm just putting a little comment. Exaggerating, but he, yeah. but but no, but he was walking around with a list in his pocket. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a fact. He had a list of people to assassinate, and that is uh, right. dangerous because uh, under under American law, we don't assassinate people. You understand? Oh, you just know? the CIA yeah. is supposed to do that secretly yeah, they, uh, under yeah, the books. Secret, yeah, uh, indirectly. I mean, yeah. oh, so, somebody shot him, so we don't know who did it. Yeah, but not walking around with a list. The whole idea is. Let me give you an idea right now. Like what's going on right now in Israel. You ha we, we are arming, funding the genocidal maniacs who, of course, they are cowards by nature when it comes to fighting wars, have turned their, uh, their anger and, 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 and their, um, uh, toward the civilian population. They are destroying mosques, churches, cemeteries, universities, hospitals, uh, killing journalists. Uh, human, these people are fu see, oh, gonna curse. right. Thank you. Th these people are evil, man. We, we the world saw the Jerry boys are evil. Thank but God. I'm not surprised. I, thank God. I mean, if that, if that's true, I mean, I know that hospitals and stuff are getting bombed, but they say that they're they say that the Hamas people are holed up in there. I mean, okay, 300 schools. <laughs> I mean. Uh, 300 mosques. I it, mean, come it, on, guys. it may or may not be, but they're not holding. They went to the I know universities. That, I know that they are, they are deliberately destroying all elements. Oh, of, right. I have heard life that. in the region. So, not they destroyed 16 cemeteries. They came with a bulldozer and got all the dead out. These Oof. are these are centuries for 100 years. Uh, they've been there, and you know what? They the, the Jewish cemetery they didn't touch it. 
it was pre-1945 because uh-huh. they lived there. Jews lived there with Arabs okay. before the before we, you guys gave us the nut jobs from Europe. You understand? We, they were living together. Yeah. The whole idea is you 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 have to be honest. So that's what that they're so they're purposely destroying the um, area right. so that it's uninhabitable, so that right. there's right. nothing to come back to. So then they can move in and build take it over. build take it over. But hey. Um, that's what happens in war, you know. Like it's not, it's not a war. It's, it, well, it, if it's a war, if you have armies, the other side doesn't have uh, a navy. Oh, okay, Th- so that's forces. what happens with. Um, let's call it domination. Like domination, yeah. occupation. What happened is, I'm going to tell you what it's. It it's give called. Me, me it's called taking over the area. Um, I think that Nick Fuentes said something. He called it ethnic yeah. cleansing. Um, it is ethnic he's cleansing. like pushing. It it's not just. Killing them all, but I know that you've killed like maybe thirty thousand or something Palestinians, yeah. which is a lot. And it's also at getting them to push, push down. And Egypt, Egypt doesn't want them, but Egypt is gonna get them, according to Egypt, uh, what Egypt, I heard from Egypt, this clip. Well, uh, and I'm that's gonna, give... that's the way of the old school evil world that's been around for centuries and yeah, millennia. Yeah, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Even if they put them in Egypt, it's more dangerous to Egypt. Let me tell you I what's understand going that. on. Right? Yeah, uh, the the whole idea, the the the, the the Zionist project is failing and is ran into a wall. The whole right. objective of Zionism since the 1920s was two things: to find a safe homeland for the Jews. It's not safe. Israel is not safe, right or wrong. But all these things happening every day, right? So they failed at that. They failed. They were supposed to get a majority Jewish country. They failed. Right now, between the river and the sea, there's 7.3 million uh, Jews. And, and between the river and the sea, there's 7.3 million Palestinians. So the problem is Israel is in a quandary. They cannot have a one-state solution because the majority will be Palestinian eventually. They cannot have the Palestinian live in a second-class citizen because they'd be a fairer in the, in the eyes of the world. If you're going to deny 7 million their rights and liberties and democratic, if you call yourself a democracy. So this is an opportunity for them to get rid of 2 million at one time and help the, the the population pyramid then would be like what seven to, to to five million, yeah. So it is failing and it's going to fail. And I'm going to make a prediction here. And many Israeli uh, professors and scholars know that this is the end for Israel. Israel is going to end. Not not the people going to be there. The, 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 I mean, they're not going to go no place. The Israelis will the, be there, but the they, country they, they, will they, fail. The country will it, stop. It, to- yeah, it will fail as what it is as now as a, 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 a um, an ethno state for Jewish people. It will oh. be part of a lo- it will be part of a larger country with the Palestinians, mm. and eventually the Jews will be citizens in an Israeli in a Palestinian state because the population tells you that. Right. The, I mean, the, the, population is important. The uh, demographics. It's more I had another guest on a couple of years back, yeah. Congressman Steve King of Iowa. People yeah, call him a white either. supremacist. He yeah. said demographics is destiny. The Anglo's yeah. came in, for example, and filled up Texas. Texas yeah. used to belong to Mexico, but the the Anglo's came in and were farming and thriving. It's fifty fifty now. And uh, then we got Texas in America as America. So you might it's be just, right, but I don't think yeah. that the Anglo's of Texas. Yeah, are the same quality of people as the no, Palestinians because the no, Palestinians, not, correct me if I'm wrong, but nobody really likes or or it, for in terms of these surrounding countries, they don't really like or want or trust these okay, Palestinians. Uh, Is that true? No, no, it's not that they don't trust them. Is that um? There's a lot of radicals, do I mean terrorists? No, no, no. If they take him in, then they're going to be helping the ethnic cleansing. Then they're going to be part of the ethnic cleansing of Israel. They're helping them. Take I understand them out. that point. Yeah, I'm not. I'm okay, not so this is, I understand that point. But what about the Palestinians themselves? What the type of people are they? Let me let me give you the literacy test. The literacy uh, literacy education yeah. is ninety nine point nine percent. They're the most educated people in the world. Really? They, the, they have the more <laughs> PhD per capita. Look it up. I'm not making yeah, this up. Okay. They are very educated. They go to school. They have college. They are. They have the most doctors in the Arab world. PhD ratio, they have the, I mean, this is, you're not talking about some nomads running around. They are very educated, and the purpose, they are very educated because they feel oppression from Israel, so they know they have to succeed as a society to keep their life uh, going and their cause going. They're not going, okay. That but, Egypt okay, might, educated or not, there's a whole lot of, um, are they not, I see these pictures, and I get that it's propaganda, but these videos of the children being 
um, trained to hate the Israelis. And I'm sure the Israelis are trained to hate the Palestinians, but the Israelis, when they come over here, they kind of function and act like normal citizens. But the Palestinians, when they come to these other countries, sometimes very often they're radical, they're terrorists or whatever. Uh, name me one. I don't know. I can't name any. I don't know. Nobody. But this is just what Mid I'm hearing. If you go to the Midwest, they have the most businesses, most gas stations, most supermarkets in Alabama and Mississippi. Uh, I've been there in, in Tennessee. I went and checked out their places. They are very successful. They're very rich. Oh, Palestinians uh, have very those rich businesses. People. Oh, here okay. in the United States, wherever they yeah. go, they are very successful. You understand? Uh, Could in be business wise. No, they, I, but those I, are like the, those are like the best examples. What about there like no bad? Uh, the, the, we have the freedom fighters. They have to fight for their country. Now you call <laughs> Hamas a terrorist. Uh, I don't call him. A, you see, like I got his picture right here. You see, uh, right. Uh, 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 Hamas is not a terrorist organization under international law. Okay. It's only a terrorist organization under the United States and Israel. It says, but under uh, the United Nations, just said it last week. It's not a terrorist. It's a resistant. That's like us calling the the what is it the blue coats who fought the the English here in the United States. Yeah, that's like calling our American revolutionaries as terrorists who was trying to gain independence. This is what's going on. The whole idea. Maybe the, the maybe not, man. It is the Zionist. The but Zionist. But you you act like the like the uh, you've told me before that the um, that they didn't go after the just the normal uh, civilians that they went after the military. And I don't know if that's entirely true. What military? What, what are you you said about? that the the October seventh attack, the yeah, October seventh, okay. Hamas went into Israel. I wish and... I could play a video for you. Uh, listen, it's all uh, the, the October seventh's purpose was to go in and get hostages and uh -huh. bring them back to uh, 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 Gaza. Yeah, and then negotiate to get their people out. You have people who've been in, in Israel for 20, 30 years for nothing. So they have about 10,000 people who are under political prisons. The whole idea was, okay, we're going to get some hostages. Uh -huh. Then we're going to, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, negotiate with Israel. Uh, they're going to give us our guys, and we give them their guys. This, is what, this was the whole purpose of the mission. What happened is, when Hamas, they collapsed. The, the, the Israeli military collapsed. They <laughs> took 22 towns, and they, and, and, and they overtook 12 of compound, uh, military compounds. In three days, they took 22% of Israel. They're like, what's going on over here? Nobody's watching the place? No supermarkets here? This is what happened. Was there, did people get killed? Yes. Uh, did NSA people? Yes. Yes. Did Israel kill their own people? Of course. Did they kill the majority of the uh, incident? Yes, and I could tell you why. Because the, the spokesman for Netanyahu was on TV, national TV, and they told him, uh, what's the toll right now? Is there still 1,400 uh, people dead? He said, no, it's 1,200 now, because we did a lot of DNA tests on the, the burnt bodies, and 200 of them were Hamas, and the rest were Israeli. Oh, wow. Now the question begs itself, how did these people get burned like, to the point where you cannot recognize them? Did Hamas all of a sudden went crazy and started burning their own soldiers? And they don't have that weapons. Apaches right. have that weapon. Hellfire missiles have those uh, weapons. Uh, yeah, they burn down cars. You saw how the cars, they burn down blocks of cars. Uh, they, it's called the Hannibal Doctrine. The Hannibal Doctrine is you got to kill everybody under Israeli uh, military rule. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the problem is that, you, now you should know, I mean, you're a very intelligent person. Because let's say I may I be broke, intelligent, but say, I'm not really. Let's say I broke. Let's say I broke into your house. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, I'm breaking into your house. Who is the right? Who Who is the right in the fight? Me or you? Me, if I defend myself against you, yeah. Why Why are you fighting? Because you're in my house. And you're defending what your home and your yeah. family and everything that you're right. Right. So you, what, what, so I'm Israel, and they say Israel has the right to defend itself. How could I have the right to defend myself inside your house? I don't have no right to defend myself. I am the criminal. I'm the one trying to take over your house. You have the right to defend yourself. I don't really, I don't, I honestly don't really care uh, because the reason I don't care is that there's been mutual fighting going on for a long time. There's been. Yeah, I yeah, hear yeah. that there's been rockets being shot at Israel. So yeah, when you have rockets like shot at Israel, you give you're giving Israel the excuse to occupy that area. You're giving Israel happened. the excuse. So no, it, who started it? I don't know, and I don't care. And yeah, but you have to care because you're the one who's given money and I'm weapons not, to these people. Yeah, I'm not for giving the money for this. I think exactly. that they should. Yeah, I think that they should work it out themselves. 
Why are we giving him $14 billion as a reward for killing all those children and women and children? <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? All right. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, man. Uh, what I, what I'm, I'm going to ask your, 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 your followers, uh, uh, I want you guys to um, listen to a guy named on YouTube. His name is Elon Pepe, I-L-A-N-P-E-P-P-E. -P -P -E. He's an Israeli scholar. He's in Tel Aviv. And once you get into that, the YouTube will give you all the, they all tell you Israeli scholars, that tell you, they say we're wrong. Because we came. But there's a lot of, the, there's gonna, you're going to find people who agree and disagree and know stuff and like, don't know stuff but, but on the, any the, side. The, the, I don't care the, about this issue, honestly. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That, but you should care because eventually it's going to come here. Well, that's why Trump in charge would bring peace back into the world well, a little Trump, bit. What he did, he, he gave them Jerusalem, he gave them the Golden High. He got $100 million from that guy in Las Vegas. What he, harm uh, did it do? Uh, what uh, harm uh, did it? Uh, 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 what uh, harm Edelson? did it do to uh, give Jerusalem and Golan Heights? He didn't get nothing for it. He didn't get a real peace deal from Israel. You should, you should, that was a, uh, but, that was a but none of this stuff was, I mean, for the most part, he's this stuff wasn't he's happening. Given land, he, he's given land he don't own. This, he's, Jerusalem is Arab. He I know, the, but you, the, the, when, the you're weak, Heights, when you're weak, when you're in a weak position like, uh, like Palestine is in no, a weak position, you're going to get dominated. That's just the way yeah, of the what world. I'm saying as, but I'm saying Trump as a uh, a person who's from a third from a third country. He's, he's not Israeli. I know has no right to give other people's land away. I know, and but the did. powerful people dominate the unpower. The powerful powerless. eventually they're gonna fall. We saw how weak they are. The Israeli soldier is a coward. Maybe. He, yeah, he, he might be. Right. Around. He runs around. We'll see what carry, happens. He can he can't even carry the the stuff that the United States gives him on his back. His legs are all wobbly when he runs. He keeps on falling. You know, because the stuff is too heavy. Who's falling? You know, the stuff they give. You know the stuff they give them to carry to eat and all the stuff with the hats and all that. <laughs> it's, it's for American soldiers who are big and strong. They give it to them, they give on falling down. You know? <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. uh, let's move on to something else. What else is on your mind there? So first of all, I am glad. Uh, thank you for having me here. Yeah. I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to be, you know. In before, uh, before I get to calls, I have some calls. You can call in, guys. 888-77-JESSE. Yeah, 1-888-775-3773. Let's talk about America. Um, yes. uh, immigration. Lose... Immigration. What's your take on this immigration I, mess? I think we, uh, um, the Democratic Party has failed to protect the United... Uh, not, not even the Democratic the, 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 the Our government has failed to protect our borders. I'm an immigrant, but I came here legally, and I believe in legal immigration. I don't believe in... Everybody and their mother coming to the border and coming in and telling me, oh, I need asylum. For what? I just, somebody threatened me in the neighborhood where I lived. Go in. Go to a hotel. Come in. Come yeah. in. People don't understand the majority of these uh, uh, of these immigrations are coming through the entry points, not through sneaking around uh, 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 in the gates. Thousands upon thousands. All they have to do is show up and say that they, they want an asylum. Uh, they are under the... Uh, uh, they are under dangerous uh, uh, situation if they go back to their country. And what we're doing is we have to change the law. Trump had a good idea. The good idea was is, okay, you want to apply for asylum? You have to stay in Mexico. Then once your application come up, then we tell you yes or no. What did that serve? First of all, you don't go inside the country and roam around and never show up. Your court, show off your that happens a lot, I hear. Yeah, come in there, have a girl, girlfriend, have a baby. Then you have like three American citizens run around by the time you get to your applications. Uh, it, it's a mess. Yeah. And no country could be a country without secure borders. I mean, I, I'm just saying that. I know it sounds like talking points from the, the Republican Party, but it's, uh, you have to be honest. Uh, after a while, you got to be honest with it. In New uh, York, have you seen, do you get out much that you've seen the, the I, I don't go, migrants? I, I live in, well, I live in Brooklyn. I've been seeing them all my life. And so oh, okay. go to Home Depot but the ones that are getting bussed over there. Have you seen any I of them? Haven't, per, I haven't I seen them personally, but I've okay. seen them like on, on TV and right. YouTube and things of that nature. But we have to understand, like if I go to Home Depot, there's like 30 right in front of Home Depot, 40 of them. Yeah. You know, trying to get a job. Like they get daily jobs. Oh, so it's just like here in California. They're yeah, the, they, they the have day the, workers, yeah, they, day laborers. Yeah, and they have oh, certain areas where they hang out, like in the outskirts of, of a street and things. Like they stay all over there. Yeah. And people come pick them up with van. They make good money, like $100, $200 a day. Uh-huh. Um, one time, I one time I went to a, I wanted a worker for a deli. I could not convince them to come. I said instead of staying here all day in front of the sun, 
One day you get a job, one day you don't come work at the deli, man. You get to eat free, you get good. They would do it. I was, I was looking at it. I said, Are you crazy? You stay all day, like waiting for the ice to pick you up instead of working in a, in a store, AC in the winter and <laughs> heat in the, and, 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 I mean, in the AC in the summer and, and heat in the winter. You get paid, you get to eat free. I mean, that's life. And they wouldn't do it. So in the, on that sense, Trump is the man for the job. But he didn't do anything. You see, this is the... Is he, he did stuff, come on. But anyway... Uh, More Muslims came in under his uh, uh, presidency than the other... Uh, oh, we got the Muslim ban. No, right. Nobody got banned. I saw so <laughs> many people come in from my country. It's unbelievable. So is the that a good thing? thing? Is, but he didn't ban nobody, so he's lied to you. You know, he banned the people who won the lottery. You know, the, the, the visa lottery. Uh-huh. Poor people, you know, they, they were on transit. Yeah. They sold their homes. They sold everything they own. Yeah. They're in transit in France uh, coming in. He signs the thing. Then they have to go back and wow. they owe so much money and they don't have no place to go back. Is that true? Like a, it is. I true. didn't know. I'd never heard that before. I'm telling you, the Yemeni who went the, the, the visa lot, we tried to. I'm laughing, tried, but we, if, I mean, if that's no, no, true, we, that's, we went to, I don't we went envy that situation. No, we did. The Yemeni community, we went to. Uh, to Pelosi, we went to the Congress and we spoke to They said they can't do nothing about yeah. the law. The president's the law. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that um, Trump, what he does is he signs uh, that big uh, paper. With the, it was like buildings. It seems to look like buildings, like uh, skyscrapers. And he goes, front of you, look. As soon as they take it out, they throw it right in the garbage, the, his uh, his aides. Every single uh, presidential executive or the majority had no teeth. It was uh. just showmanship. Donald Trump, you know, I feel sorry for him when they find him guilty for the for his uh, real estate. Uh, yeah, they say the New York over, thing. That's, but that's what you do. You overvalue your stuff as a real estate. Right. When I, I mean, he's, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, I'm in New York. I've been in New York. I tell you, you know, I rented places. As soon as you go in there, listen, we got like 20, the buses that go from there, the subways. A guy just came here and offered us $10,000. But I'm going to give you what, you know what, for 7000 because we look like a nice guy. Uh -huh. They it is a hype man. He has to hype his property. Right. And I think that's a bad deal they gave him. Yeah. That's the, I disagree with that 100%. And I hope they overturn it. And they're just trying to bankrupt him and take his buildings in New York City. I, I think, think that's, that's, I think there's a I, lot I of truth to that. I don't like that. Yeah. That's what people hype their property in real estate. Right. You understand? If I go to the bank, I own this house here. My house is worth about 330000 right? Nice. If I go to the bank, I'm like, listen, um, What's the value of it's about five sixty, five hundred and sixty, give or take. Yeah. They know what the value is. Yeah. You have to hype the thing. He's a hype man. Right. That's, that's why he's successful. And stuff does sell for all kinds of different prices depending yeah, on the situation. Yeah, it's up to you. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Yeah. And the banks, you don't have to lend them money. You, you could you could send people to assess. They know what the value of the properties are. Right. You could send people to do it. This did not make any sense. Not the one dollar was lost. Nobody From lost. Who, yeah. Nobody. Got, it was not a crime. What was yep. the crime? He hyped his property. Oh my! Everybody does that. Right. Everybody says, um, "Oh, I got the most beautiful girlfriend, and she's got like glasses on, and she's filthy <laughs> and stinky." You understand? But you're hyping her up. Yeah. Uh, that's that's. I'm gonna. Tell you, I'm gonna. He got a bad deal on that, and I think they, they should overturn it and stop trying to take the guy's properties and call four hundred million dollars for what? Yeah. The banks got their money. Nobody lost money. Okay. He, he did tell the banks to get a good. Rates. I will do the same thing if I could get a good rate. So I would say, that, oh, my building's worth about the hundred million dollars, but they still got paid. Nobody got, nobody got hold, got caught holding the bag. Yeah, you understand? The only thing he did wrong. Remember, you had the university. Yeah, that's wrong. That's that. That, that was stuff. University. That was what what happened with the universities? Trump University. Remember oh, Trump to, University. Uh, that 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 was a fraud. Uh, I don't know. That's I think not. that that's. I think that the. There's always going to be people who are grateful and, in, and ungrateful and pretend like they were suckers when it was in a, for a it lawsuit. Was in a no, no, not only it was in a university. It was I, not accredited. I know, but people just call yeah. stuff stuff. No, we it's have to. Prager, we, Prager University. Hey, 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 Pra hey, brother. Listen, listen. To, Prager University. Be, uh, you ever heard of Prager University? Prager? Prager University. What, the guy, the, the Dennis guy? Dennis Prager has Prager yeah, yeah, U. The guy's a crook. No, 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 but crook. regardless of, of whether yeah. you're calling him a crook or not, I don't know why. He's a but Zionist I, crook, yeah. yeah. Okay, but Prager U. You ever heard of Prager U? Yeah, I, I know it, that it, that's it, not an actual university. It's not. It's, it makes a, but it's not pretending to be an actual university. It's just called that. 
So Trump yeah, University, he, same thing. Yeah, yeah, but he, but he had students from poor areas come, and they gave them loans, uh, hundred thousand, sixty. You know, they were uh -huh. they were getting loans. Okay, and and, they, and these degrees are not accredited by any. Even if they got it, they will come out and. But like you don't go for the degrees. You go for the skills that you gain. You go for the life no, skills. No, okay. Right hey, or wrong? Hey, in life, you have to be fair. We cannot love a person to a point where we see you no, know, no, no, no flaws. We got to call. I see a flaws, but I, I, I see flaws he, in Trump. But this Trump University Trump is thing, a flawed. Yeah. I've it, never. It, it, I don't believe that to be. I, I think you guys are bought, are falling for. People who have paid, a victim mindset. He paid, he, he paid $25 million. He had to pay it. it was a, that doesn't okay, matter. That doesn't okay, prove well, anything. Okay. Uh, lawsuits. We okay, all, you, you and I both know that lawsuits don't prove anything. Lawsuits okay, well, can be unjust. People. Okay, his, found, his foundation. Trump he, foundation? He, he, what about he, he, it? Using, he used the funds to buy a, a, a portrait of him for $20,000. He used it for a legal uh, problem. I mean, it was like a piggy bank for him and his kids. Why I mean, not? Uh, it's a found, it's a foundation to help the poor or something. It's not for you. But you see, you're already you defending it, for, it. How do you, how do you know? That's where it's set up as in New York City. It's a nonprofit foundation to help certain uh, people. He's taking donations from people. But I, I mean, I don't know this whole, this whole story. Nor well, do I care. You know and you because be because these people are the people who are going after him. Their yeah. motivation is to take him down because he tells the truth. To, no, you see, uh, he's a challenge to them. Well, when you're in politics, you're going to be dealing with a lot of crazy, dirty people yeah. and trying to opposition. Right. But if you have, but if you have a lot of baggage, it's their right to show it because they're trying to get rid of you from the, from running. I know, for but anything. this is not even real baggage. Nobody falls for this. Yeah, but it's a, He's uh, an honest, say, ge generous let's say, guy. Let's say I had, people let's can say I, people can say, oh, he misused funds, whatever. No, no. Okay, I could say. <laughs> uh, let's say I set up a GoFundMe for Saint Jude, right? Uh huh. Me, Omar. Right. Omar, the third rail. You know, donate a uh, foundation. People donate. I got like a two, three, four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, right? I'm supposed to give it to who? The same Jew, right? Supposedly, instead, I don't know. Maybe. No, no, that's the objective. I'm telling you, that's what it is for. Right. That's what I, you know, it says right there, big lines. The third rail taking donation for Saint <laughs> Jude with yeah. help poor. Better, I'm going to the Bahamas, going to Aruba, using it, going to get a massage in Florida. Um, buying me some stuff. But his money know, is shopping. not from people's donations. His money is from all kinds of different investments and no, all no, kinds no, of no. things. No, no, his money is different. This was this this, don this foundation whole purpose, sole purpose was to do good. Uh -huh. Not it's not for him. He under under New York law, he cannot use it for private use. It's already it's the it's a five hundred one c. So I know, but five hundred one c threes have like employees who get paid. There's all kinds yeah, of different but, uh, things but, uh, that get set aside. He bought a portrait of himself for twenty thousand dollars. Whatever, wow. I don't know. <laughs> you, you don't defend anything Trump does. This it's not that I'm defending it. I just don't you buy just it. Did. You just did. I just told you that. The I shrugged it off. I didn't defend it. I shrugged it off. No, no. I, I just told you that the three hundred fifty-three million dollars is wrong. It's a it's a hit job on right. his property. Yeah. Because people hype their their property. I mean, he has to do that. Yeah, you know, he's, I know he's that. Selling, he's, a, he's a musician. He's trying to sell you his condos. <laughs> you know, and he's trying to get the highest price he can for it. Anybody uh, does. You understand? Yeah. Uh, and he's not, and he's the, not a And the point is, the point is, the media is not going to tell us the whole, the real story. The prosecutors are not going to tell us the real story. The plaintiffs who are suing him are not going to yeah, tell us the us, real story. But we, but we so you're not going to get the real story. Why should you even care about this? That's that's between him and and the people who donated. Period. Yeah, you, did you donate not, you know, to Trump University? No, I, I would give Trump a quarter. Yeah, so then you don't. Who cares? If, if I if I go into a Trump building, I'll make sure I have no money on me or checks on me. So, <laughs> so he because he he probably sold me something that I don't want to buy. He's a good salesman. Let's nice. Agree to that, you yeah. I mean, I mean, he's, uh, let's see, we got to give him credit for that. That he he talks big. He you know he sells the unsellable stuff. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, once he got into politics, did you, did you buy his shoes? I don't buy it. He says he's sitting. Aren't those awesome looking shoes? <laughs> Come on, man. He's the president, the former president of the United States, Hawking Sneakers. I want to get to some calls. Let, let's get to the callers. I want to see yeah. if they're going to come down on me. Now, Denny in Bulgaria. Shots, please. Denny in Bulgaria has been on hold for quite some time. And he, he may be, this isn't necessarily Trump related or what you have been talking about. Denny in Bulgaria, right. thanks for calling and holding. You're live, though, with Omar and Hake. Good evening, gentlemen. Thank you for taking my call. How yeah. are you doing? 
Doing Hi, well. Hello. Thank you. Glad to hear. I'm not calling about any Trump-related things. Yeah. I, as you said, Mr. Hay, I'm from Bulgaria, Europe. I'm not yeah. much into politics in the United States. I'm calling because you had a very interesting, uh, like always, uh, very interesting show yesterday. And there was this guy, I, I, uh, forgive me, but I don't remember names. I'm just bad with names. Um, and there was this comment, I, I'm i hearing it here and there, about Africa civilizing Europe yesterday. And I just wanted to talk about that, if, it's, uh, if you don't mind. Sure, yeah, bring that in. Civilization well, um, well, is important quick. to us, kind of. Say again, please. Civilization and history are kind of important, honestly, even though I don't know anything about well, them. Glad to hear. Yeah. Yeah, glad to hear. You're not wrong about that. And uh, afterwards, a few words about Christianity, because I, I heard uh, the Today's show as well. Uh, so, uh, long story short, I heard about the Moors, quote unquote Moors, uh, Middle East, and so on and so forth. First of all, Africa never civilized Europe. Now, in all fairness, they there there were Moors, and they did rule part of uh, Iberian Peninsula, which is modern day Spain and Portuguese, that's and us. southern uh, Italy, which was Sicily. That's but us. that's not Europe. That, ah. That's like me from Bulgaria telling people mm. that I'm Danish or Swedish. It doesn't work like that. Just because we're from the same continent doesn't mean we are the same people. Yeah. I'm Slavic, can I, not a Scandinavian. Can I answer him when you finish? Uh, answer him, okay? okay, sounds good, Omar. Okay, the, the Renaissance, uh, uh, Europe was in the it was in, uh, medieval time, it was uh, at that time. The Renaissance for Europe came from Spain, the Arabs and the Muslims, from the uh, uh, the philosopher, uh, I'll give you the name, Ibn Khaldun, uh, uh, Ibn Sina, they have different names. These are the ones who awakened the, the, the Renaissance in Europe from the, the, the Spain, from Arab philosophers, Muslim, I'm, I'm not Arab, Muslim philosophers and, and mathematicians and geometry. Europe was awakened. At that time, Europe was killing women because they say they were witches. Or nice. They were for still painting their I faces. <laughs> with, yeah, they were still painting their faces with colors and things that, like that nature. Um, uh, they were surf, surfing them. They, they didn't even own themselves. But the Renaissance... Uh, the Renaissance You're came not... out of the Renaissance came out of uh, 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 out of Spain for Europe. Really? Everybody knows that. Yeah, everybody knows that. You're not entirely wrong. Uh, you're not entirely wrong, but that wasn't what I was referring to. The Renaissance yeah, see, came uh, way uh, way later. Yeah, in the 1400s uh, after the 1400s, uh, uh, 1500s. Yes, but we're not talking about that period. I yeah. don't know if you were uh, able to uh, hear uh, Mr. Uh, Hague's program. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Yesterday, somebody I, said the more is civilized Europe. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I couldn't hear the gentleman. Uh, his last sentence, may, is, it, is it okay for him to repeat that? Oh, repeat what you what you said at the last moment there, uh, Omar? No, I said I didn't hear the yesterday show, so I'm going to listen to him and oh, okay. then finish. Yeah. I understand. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. So I wasn't referring to the Renaissance. I was talking about way before because he highlighted uh, Europe and uh, ancient Greece and ancient Rome, which was way before the Renaissance. And he highlighted that ancient Greek philosophers and Roman philosophers went to Egypt to study about you know, different yeah. things, which is true. But like that, then yeah. again, this was the, this, uh, you know, different nations were aware of one another's existence. But to say that uh, they civilized Europe is simply wrong, uh, I don't know where Omar is because I know him only from the Hague, uh, from the Hague uh, report. I'm, I'm but from Mr. Yemen. The Hague told me, say again, please. I'm from the Yemen. You know Yemen? He's Yemeni. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, yes. But I know where Mr. Hague is from. He he told me I'm, uh, a while ago. And to say that the more civilized Europe is to say that Mr. Hague is an Eskimo because he's from <laughs> North America. You know, it doesn't work <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it just because a few people from a certain continent did something at a specific part of another continent doesn't mean that, you know, the whole picture is like that. The whole picture is very different. And I just yeah. wanted to go there to, you know, to, to highlight that because it's, it's wrong information. As for the Renaissance, uh, Europe, because uh, I, I would like to thank you for highlighting that. This is very interesting. And Renaissance is one of my favorite topics. 
the reason it was so beautiful, and you can see a lot of those sculptures and statues and paintings even today. I have seen many of them myself, of course. Mm. The reason it was so beautiful is because the brightest minds and the greatest talent the world mm. had to offer back then was yeah. collected in one place. You're not wrong about that. Some yeah. of them were from Africa. Some of them were from the Middle East. Back yeah. then, it wasn't called the Middle East because the map wasn't yeah. as it is today. The map was yeah. smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. didn't it's call true. it the Middle East. No. But this was the beauty of it. The brightest yeah. and the, the, the most talented people were there. And that's why it's so beautiful. Uh, yeah. With Mr. Higgs' permission, of course, I, I may even uh, forward you a few pictures of a few statues and paintings uh, on Twitter or some somewhere else. Nice. Uh, so that you can see them yourself. That they are breathtaking. I I guarantee you that if you go to, uh, well, I don't want to, <clears throat> you know, uh, put the names of museums here and there. I'm not promoting anything. But if you go to specific locations in Europe, in Italy, in Spain, in uh, France, in Germany, uh, you, you will you will basically have to spend one day in each museum. And I don't think that even this will be enough because. This is the result of the brightest mind, and it's beautiful to see. Yeah, I, I, I want to ask you a question. Um, Spain, yes, uh, Arab, Arab Spain, before the Spaniard took over Spain, it was the most educated, most uh, uh, up-to-date area. Where they had the, they had the libraries, libraries. They had pools. Which part again? Cent- I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the Arabs in Spain. The Arabs when they Arabs in Spain. In Spain. Yeah. Okay. They were the yeah. They had the most uh 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 uh. uh what do you call? It? I don't know how to put the word as um elite society in that continent or the Arab continent or the Muslim world. Uh, they had the the, the libraries. They had education. They had mm-hmm. philosophers. Freedom to say whatever you want uh, and things of that nature, and that affected Europe. Infected Europe, uh, and the Arabs and the Muslims took. Greek philosophy and, and and saved it and translated it instead of you know how 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 certain uh, 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 groups conquer a country and they destroy everything they have the yeah. Arabs were very different they used to come in and, and observe that culture and mm-hmm. translate it and, and and own it that's what Rome not... did with Greece right yeah yeah uh, but the yeah, ISIS you know, wasn't like that true. ISIS destroyed yeah. a whole bunch of people and so uh, was a, was well, a, was a, that, that was an intelligence uh, talking about operation yeah. not okay uh, anyway go ahead. i'm sorry was a... uh, yeah thank you he's not wrong about that but the thing is that for, for example uh, your caller yesterday mentioned the dark ages in europe well the dark mm-hmm. ages were called the dark ages because europe was cut off they were cut yeah. off from the uh, from basically every route and this was yeah. due to the arab and muslim invasion and yeah. In all fairness, he's right about that. Mr. Omar is correct about that. Yeah. They really influenced, and not only they influenced, they, they tried to improve what they found. But truth be told, they really wanted to, because they did have the knowledge. I mean, yeah. we are all using Arabic numbers, right? At least I yeah. am. I assume you gentlemen are using them as well. <laughs> yeah. But my That's point Arabic. is that they wanted to do it in Europe because there was absolutely no way for them to do it yeah. in the at the moment was called the Middle East and yeah. that, that part of Africa because it's way better to improve the European views and yeah. cultures yeah. Th- than to establish it other way, uh, in another area. It, it's simply easier when you have something to work with. Yeah. And, and truth be told, they really did a remarkable job. They were yeah. an amazing scientists, even in ninth century Baghdad, which was before the time that you are referring yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baghdad was like the center of, of education. People used to go to school there from all over the world. Did you know it that uh, algor- you know, algorithm, what you got in your computer right now, is a, is a name, is a, after a, a Muslim scientist, mathematic, ma- mathematician, who discovered the algorithm and algebra. Nice. Your computer right now will not work without his. Uh, his so discovery. algorithm and algebra is because it came from Al Qaeda. The, the name of the guy is Algorithm. The guy who. Oh, who, okay. Who, nice. Who discovered that? How <laughs> was the the Muslims? Was Medis- Medi- uh, yeah, medicine. A, a guy named Ibn Sina. I don't know how they call <laughs> it in English. Was a, a Muslim. He's the first one uh, uh, to talk about um, 
mental health issues. Who's a doctor? You know, things of that nature. Um, they were more like the white Muslims. Huh? They were more like the white Muslims? Go ahead. No, no, no. Arabs. We're white. Arabs are white. Right. Yeah. Nice. We are white. Should be told if you live yep. in that no, area no. at that time, it's not surprising you should talk about mental health issues because that's when the craziness started. Although yeah. there were people were always crazy all, all over yeah. the planet. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That was my basic point because to to say that you know Europe uh, was civilized by Africa <clears throat> is to to say that. Mr. Omar is Chinese because he's from Yemen. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's, it's, okay. It's yeah, technically, I, I it's the same continent, but it, it doesn't work like that. Because Yemen is in and Asia, huh? Oh. It's considered an Asian country? Yeah, near East. Is near it, East. Yeah. It is. Okay. But, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, so Al, from, Al from Tennessee, who called my show yesterday, was mistaken? He wasn't mistaken. She was misguided. Oh, interesting. No, see, see there's, how smart? There's a difference. Uh, how smart the answer? Yeah. Yeah, that's a smart. That's a man. Who's that was I was I was surprised to hear that stuff from Al from Tennessee. Al from Tennessee, because Al from Tennessee was making the claim that the Hebrews were black, Jesus yeah. was black. Well, uh, they probably was the Hebrew were probably black because I don't think Hebrews Jews were those pyramids. Ethiopian. Uh, yes, if I may say a few things about that as well. Yeah, please. There are graveyards and, and researched graveyards. Back then, people looked very similar. To what people look now these days in that region so you see those people today that that's basically how they looked back then that's right. jesus also looked like jesus me. when he was right i'm sorry mr omar yeah go ahead uh, no i appreciate you you're absolutely right what you're saying is, is honest uh, uh, observation and i really appreciate that go ahead my friend i apologize for uh, disturbing. thank you okay uh, thank you and uh when jesus was alive he was a very, very average-looking person. He looked exactly the same everybody else did. And I'm not saying it because I was alive back then. Obviously, I wasn't. Yeah. But if he was significant in any way, if he was, let's say, taller or shorter uh, or yeah. different body shape, Judas would have been able to provide an accurate description. This was 2,000 years ago. It's not like people yeah. didn't know how to speak back then. They did. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But nobody was able to provide an accurate description. So this is where the kiss of Judah comes from, because Jesus looked like everybody else. And in the general, region. back then, people look exactly like that, like, like they do today. So, so in that region, is that region sort of a little bit more tan, brownish, olive skin? Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. And not to mention the man was a carpenter. There wasn't home office back then due to COVID. Yeah. The carpenters work outside. So, of course, uh, he was standard. He wasn't neither Slavic nor Scandinavian. Yeah, he was yeah. a very normal, standard, average-looking Middle Eastern man. That, that's how they yeah. all were w back then. With, because... with, with, with olive skin. Yes. Although, yeah. that in today's well, like... language, that, that yeah. means a very different thing. But definitely, he was standard and everything. He was just a normal-looking guy. Okay. And, yeah, uh, yeah. If I may have a few minutes, may I say a few things about Christianity? Yeah, please. Uh, I am a Christian, an Orthodox Christian, Eastern Orthodox Christian. Yeah. And I truly believe, and uh, ever since I was six, maybe seven, uh, I've studied different aspects of history, different aspects of mythology, because I'm fascinated by them. I don't live by them, but I just find mm. them interesting. And... Christianity was the biggest exorcism, from my point of view, possible. Because before that, if you if you just spare a weekend of your time and read Scandinavian mythology, Hindu mythology, Greek mythology, those quote-unquote gods mm. were terrible people. I mm. wouldn't even talk to any of them, let alone <laughs> worship them. Those were complete nut jobs. If any of them were... Every single one, if any of them were alive today, at best they'd be in jail because they did horrific things. They were completely crazy. Yeah. Uh, and, and just read the mythology, you will know what I'm talking about. However, yeah. God has always been around and his yeah. principles are eternal. Now, what does Christianity teach you? Forgiveness and love. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are universal principles. Mm -hmm. We have an eye-to-eye -eye and tooth-for-tooth. Well, how is that working? 
we're obviously not good because there are issues. We have another option where you have to lie to, you know, quote unquote non believers. Well that that one isn't working well either. So God's principles are eternal and this is what Christianity teaches. This is why well, I was born a Christian to quote unquote born because I was born in an Orthodox Christian family, but that's why I've never really considered changing religion or anything because I already had it. Yeah. It's a pretty good teaching. And so far it's it's the best and I guess the only one we have. That's how and I feel honest, about mine too. Go ahead. Yeah. And to be honest, I don't see any other option. If God has something else planned, well, I guess he will tell us in time. But for now, this is it. Nice, man. I appreciate it. It's good to hear from you, Denny in Bulgaria. Well, it's from good Europe. to hear uh, from you as well. And gentlemen, I apologize for taking so much time. I, normally, I'm trying to keep it short. I would like to uh, wish both of you, your colleagues and your audience, all the best. And uh, God be with you. Thank you, man. You Thank too. you very much. God bless. Bye. Bye. Denny in Bulgaria. I have another yeah. caller here um, that I'd like to get to. Mark in Los Angeles has a question for Omar. Mark, thanks for calling and holding. Uh, you're live with Omar, if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Thank you uh, for taking my call. Hey, uh, I just I have one basic question and a comment. Do you believe that the Holocaust happened in Germany? This is for all of no. uh, <laughs> uh, I think some form of, uh, of something happened, but not uh, to the numbers they say, and I don't think so. Because when I saw all these lies about October 7, I kind of say, um, if they lied about that, I'm, <laughs> because I, I don't think, it, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to get anywhere on YouTube. Right. You know, it's a very sensitive subject. Do I think the numbers uh, that I don't that's uh, I don't think that the six the six hundred reason the six million reasons you know we're gonna talk right now in, 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 with is not realistic that that it happened like that. I okay. Think, you know, I, okay, I got you. Yeah, the next question is: You condemn the Nazis. Stay close to your phone, Mark. You're coming in. It's like there's wind in your line, so you're coming in quiet. Is that better? Much better. Thank yeah. you. Go ahead. Okay, and the la the second question is: Do you condemn the National Socialist Party? Uh, of where? In where? Germany. In Germany, under under the uh, Third Reich. Yeah, I think I, I think Hitler was a maniac. I think he destroyed Germany, and he destroyed uh, G uh, Germany. Had a lot of potential. If he was patient, in, in twenty years after that time, uh, Germany would have been the most powerful nation on earth. But he was okay. not patient. He, he had no Got sense of. And okay, he was let kill me us ask you this, if, uh, if I could. Um, yeah. Do you do you agree on Hitler's view of the Jews? Uh, what view? I, I, we don't have no proof that he said anything about Jews. He never said anything. What he said? Don't well, in, the, in his book, <laughs> my, in his book, Mein Kampf, he do, he describes you know Jewish communism, the Bolshevik Revolution, and his and reasons he, he, for well, he was against communism. Against uh, you see, I didn't read the book. But you, you, I just learned a lot from what you said. He was against communism. That the Bolshevik Revolution was mostly Jews in, in Russia. So maybe he saw right. that as he and he hated communism more than he hated the. He just thought they were the messengers of that uh, 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 viewpoint, right? I, I'm not here to okay. defend this guy. I, I think he was a maniac. Was he, uh, he destroyed himself and destroyed his country? And, and thank God. Well, that's Germany the was, okay. That's the politically correct thing to say. He yeah. sided with Islam, Hitler did, and Islam yeah. sided with him. Now, you want to try to pretend like that never happened, that's fine. That's fine if you well, want to I mean, pretend. Uh, I mean, I mean, really, do you think he was going to save us? I mean, he, he was talking about the perfect being. I mean, we're, we're not blue eyes and blind hair and six feet tall. No, but there was an alliance between the Third Reich and the Islamic world at the time oh, of World War II. And that can't who? be denied. He no, I'm with, gonna, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna deny it. With who? With what country? There's no. There was no Arab countries or Muslim countries. Well, okay, you're gonna say Iran's not Arab. I understand, but the yeah. Shah, the first Shah of Iran was pro-national yeah. socialist. Um, I can't give yeah. you all the names, but yeah, I, I don't do know about know. that. I, I, I'm gonna tell you one thing: that uh, Turkey, the Ottoman Empire, was an ally of Germany in World War One, and they lost the war, and they lost. Then they lost the empire. Mm. As uh, uh, because they 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 sided with Germany and Germany lost the war World War One, 
and then they just cut off its empire into pieces because they lost the war. So Ger- yes, uh, Muslims were pro-Germans in World War One. World War Two, maybe they had some relationship uh, 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 where they were afraid of the immigration of Jews to Jerusalem, or whatever, something of that nature. But there was no real Arab entity. They were all colonized. So they, they, they had no uh, free will to, to make any relationship with Germany or the German uh, power. They well, were all under but, occupation, <clears throat> under, under British, British occupation or under French occupation. Okay, after World War II ended, the original Shah of Iran had to step down. He was dethroned because of his support of the Third Reich. Now, you could yeah. say the Iranians are not Arabs. I don't, no, but I don't believe know. that, that's but a... if you want to say that, that's fine. They no, are I'm Muslims, deny they're an Islamic I'm not... nation. Honestly, my friend, I'm not going to deny it or say it's because I don't know. So I got to look at it later. Well, I know. That's... Okay. Okay. So my, well, I my mean, question... Then it, is, it, is, it is what it is, then. If you know, then it is, it is. I mean... So, I mean, so I then, is there? would you say that there is a uh, an unspoken brotherhood between Hamas and the National Socialist Movement. Well, Are they brothers not, under the skin? What, what, what's the who you, who you, who you, uh, National Nazi? Socialist, he means the Nazis. Right. Oh. Okay, let me tell you what's going on over here. I think Hamas is a friend with any movement that's willing to help them at this moment of need. The okay. Arabs and the Muslim movements, like the Palestinian Liberation Organization, uh, they had a great relationship with the Irish IRA, because they used to help train them against the British uh, in Northern uh, Ireland. That's why you see Ireland uh, fighting for the Palestinians every day, because they had that relationship. Um, but uh, historically, I'm going to tell you something. The, the races were broken into three races. There's the Mongolian, and there was whites, and there was black. We right. happen to be white, according to uh, 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 American law. We are considered white, legally. I'm white. When I go to the census, I have to white, put white. Mm. And so we try to get Middle East, but they say, no, Jenna, you're white, whether you like it or not. Wow. Well, that, I disagree with that. No, I, I understand what you're saying. It's true. I have issue, but you know what I, I have did... issue with these movements? Uh, let me tell you, I'm, since we're talking about them, I don't, especially in the United States, these are uh, um, America first movement. They are not organized good. I mean, to, to rent a truck, uh, a furniture truck, and go to the middle of a city and start marching with fucking, oh, excuse my language, with brown shirt and a tie, that's not the way to do it. You need to uh, organize as a political force. You need to educate if you want to advocate for white people or you see that white people are being replaced. Do it, do it the right way. Don't scare people with these trucks and these marches and, 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 and these masks. You are scaring potential allies. You right. need to organize uh, and make a political party and educate. Go to Vermont. Vermont is 94.3 white. Let's see how you do over there. Take over the state legally. But when I see them in trucks, they're walking around and marching. I'm like, I get scared. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Are these these people are going to kill me. That's, <laughs> they scam. It is. They scam yeah, yeah. people away. No, they, I, they, I hear you. They, they, it's well, like, you know, somebody, they want to show off. They do their little march. Then they go back home to their mother's basements. Because I know they're probably all failed guys. Uh, the whole idea is you got to create a political party, not even a political party, even within the Republican Party. You have to speak the right language. You have to attract a lot of allies and a lot of friends. Don't scare potential allies. And don't scare even whites. Whites are against you, not us. Most whites are against each other. So, <laughs> okay. What I you know, don't I'm under- reading the chat. I'm, I'm laughing at something oh, else. Good. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, can I, uh, I wanted to ask Omar something. Um why would any Islam- Muslim person want to come to this Christian nation? Uh, for what reason? What you, We're not Muslims. We're not going to become Muslims. So why are okay. you here? Economic opportunity. That's, That's bogus. You mean you can't make it in your, wherever you're from? You couldn't have made it? The poor is you couldn't have financially supported yourself? Nope. I don't believe you. Uh, I think he could yeah. have. I think he could have. No, I think you he can. probably would have done fine. Don't but Google it. But 300, 200,000 died from that. I, I, I don't think that's an uh, entire. I don't think it's a bogus answer, Mark. I think that America is open listen, for I, I, open for exploitation of the uh, economic opportunities. We're, o- right, we're open now, for it. Okay, I, I just came from. Where, where I came from, I, I, I used to be a farmer. My family was a farmer. We have a. 
We have land. We have a lot of land. We had cattle. We had camels. Yeah. But we had no money. We had no cash. We don't know what cash was because we ate. So off you had the to land. you had to feed off the Christians. You have to come here and feed off us because you uh, guys can't make it. Actually, I'm not feeding off you. I, I created my opportunities. I became a businessman. I became successful. Yeah, you came I, here to do it though. You but came I was to not a giving, Christian but nation. You, you said, no, and, hold up. You said no, no. You said you was feeding me off. You never gave me a dollar from your pocket. You never gave me anything. I made but myself. But his here. point, his right. But his point is, you came to a Christian nation to be to have these business Only opportunities. I'm helping you. I'm helping conserve your values right now. Have the Christians are they don't even if they're men or women. You understand? You have all these issues. The LBC well, these you people got. that you're speaking of aren't Christians. But let me just well, they're, say they're this. All, they're all Christian. They're mostly whites. Yes, my friend. <laughs> well, they're Gentiles. There's a difference between being a Gentile. Well, they're, they're former Christians, right? Well, we're, we're protesting. Gentile we're, we're, and Christians we're protesting, are not the same. We're protesting at schools against uh, the indoctrination of our children. We forced a school in Dearborn, Michigan, not to teach this LBGD community stuff. We forced a school in Maryland not to do it and give us right. an opt-out. By force, we went nice. there and said, listen, nobody's going to go to school and nobody's going to go no place. You got to give us an opt-out, an option. If you want to do it, do it. If not, or not. Right. My friend, you see, you, you seem to understand that America is not a Christian country right now. So for you to say we had to come to a Christian country, America is a secular uh, country. It does not believe in... in, in, in secular. Christianity yeah. is almost like a secondhand thing. As a matter of fact, they attack Christianity. Right. Christians are attacking their own uh, religion. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I agree with all that, but I, let me just I, say I this. Value. I, 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 let me I just I, let me just one let, more uh, thing. let me one more thing. Go ahead. I rather have I rather have Christian values to live under than secular values. Is that secular good? values not for you? Christian. See, he he's Christian friendly, Mark. He likes Christian values above yeah, the secular values you know, that's being pushed down the throats of the kids yeah. of his kids. Okay, I can't argue with that. Right. But let me just say this. Up in Canada, they inter you know Canada is being overrun with Arabs or Muslims. They interviewed a Muslim in, in uh, Canada, and he said their goal was to establish an Islamic republic everywhere they go. That's right. in their ma. That's in their uh, religious book, the Quran. Okay. And furthermore, and I want to say this before I don't forget, okay. Teddy yeah. Rose Teddy Roosevelt a hundred years ago wrote, yeah. "Don't let these people in your country." Teddy Roosevelt, one of our greatest presidents, warned of the threat of uh, of the Islamic faith. What, I'm, and I'm, I'm not pro Jew. Listen, I am not pro Jew. I am not pro. I, I can tell you, you're not, you're not pro anything. I'm gonna, you pro, you pro. I think you were one of those guys on the far right. I'm going to tell you what it is. I, I could understand why Roosevelt said that because the Ottoman Empire was still going through Europe, so mm -hmm. there was a fear. Uh, of the expansion. That's one thing. Okay. I mean, haven't you seen the, these Muslim prayers in like L Luton? Uh, I may be butchering the name, but there's these Muslim prayers being shown in these once white we towns. Just bought, okay, hey, they're dominating, out, they're dominating hey, the whites, I'll, Christians. I, I, go ahead. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't want to give my location. I don't actually know inside yeah. New York City. Yeah. But I live outside in, in the suburbs. But I will say, I, I, I'm from Brooklyn, though. Yeah. But the whole idea is, we just, we just bought the biggest Christian. Abandoned church you could find. I'm gonna take your video one day right. and send it to you on private for hundred thousand dollars. Each window is about two flights high. They're all closed. All the churches are abandoned here. You got yeah. like five churches here. I mean, beautiful. So Christianity is being replaced because of Christians' weakness. There is no Christian. They're right. not going to yeah. church no more. They abandoned the church. Right. You can't yeah. force you to go to church. You understand? <laughs> so they they were abandoned. Yeah, you can't they, really they, blame they, the Muslims for taking yeah, advantage of the situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, they shouldn't that, be but, here in the first place. I agree, but, uh, take but advantage. that's what's. But that's the way of the world. It's kind of like way it's kind of like what's. He, he said that, it is, he, and same no, thing no, but, with same thing with Israel Palestine situation. What did the, what's what's happening to Palestine is the way of the but world. But if you want to get a taste of the Islamic world in America, go to Dearborn, Michigan. Yeah, I know. Walk I around. You. No, no, no. As a white man, just walk around and see how they <laughs> right. treat you. Yeah, really, yeah. see how they treat you. I'm Ask sure, for uh, directions. Ask for directions. Yeah. Ask them no, for anything. Me. They're going to ignore you. And you don't see an American flag anywhere in Dearborn. Right. Maybe at um, City Hall. And then I look think, at uh, the Muslim representatives, Elo, Eli Omar. Is that... Uh, it, uh, Eli Omar. Omar. This guy's anti-Muslim. He's Islamophobic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, there's, not. there's, no, I'm there's not truth to what he's saying, Omar. Benjamin Franklin said that the Jews were the greatest danger to America. I don't see he's talking about Benjamin Franklin right there, right? 
Well, if he had a Jew on there, I would. But you're the guy on it. No, you don't even. You don't even own your own country. You're you're political. Everywhere you go, it's the J boys controlling you. So you have. You're right. I agree. Okay. I agree with you. So you you just popping all that against a poor minority that that we we don't have no ambition. We don't have no ambitions on your politics. You don't see us running for presidency or for government. Breed us out of existence. Demographics is destiny, man. I can't help you. I can't help you if you can't breed because you've been over sexualized. But you guys are. Not supposed to be here. If you're not supposed to be here, then you shouldn't be breeding. Says this is who? a white Christian Says nation. Who? All right, no, it's not. I, I can it go, is. Go, look, go look to the Treaty of Tripoli, uh, uh, chapter eleven. See what your uh, uh, J- James Adams said about the, uh, 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 John about Adams. America. I think uh, John. He said America is. I don't, not I don't care what he said. I'm well, going to go a, by what Roosevelt treaty. said, and I'm going to go by what my own eyes tell me. In well, every country where there is Islamic Muslims, there's trouble. Yeah. The only reason we're not having more trouble with you guys is because you're a minority. That's you the have, truth. Have everybody you ever there's truth to that, man. Have you ever been where we, we, don't have no, we don't have no crime where we live? What's wrong with you? We're the best uh, thing we, we could have. <laughs> uh, if no you go to Eli there. Omar's district in Minnesota, the FBI has arrested more terrorists Somalis. in her district yeah, than any other lie. part of the United yeah. States. Uh, and terrorism lie, is crime. Man. FBI, FBI Thank you, Mark. American whites. Thank uh, you, sir. Uh, uh, Take care. America, the FBI is saying American whites have more terrorists now. Now they're going to come after you. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, the FBI is the soon. FBI is pretty anti-white. It's a mess, yeah. man. It's a it's a mess. No, no, There's he, a lot he, of division. He, he, and you know what he's doing right now, he's just throwing spaghetti at the wall. He just no, no. on all my. He, listen, he's he's, he's saying said, some got, valid it, stuff. Every well, Muslim, was, every Muslim is not as Christian friendly and Western friendly and pro-America as you are, Omar. You know that. But I live in a community that says we don't want to live under the LBG. I get that. Flag. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. We're we're with you on that on the moral yeah. stuff, but it's. Uh, it's the Before, demographics uh, is destiny. People are going to get taken uh, over. I have to. I have to get to more calls though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's move that. That's for another day. We should have you every, once a week, man. <laughs> of Fridays, Aaron, you should have us every Friday. Aaron, Aaron is on the line. Of Aaron C, from Utah. Go ahead, real quick, Aaron. Hey, what's going on? Uh, God bless Mark for one. Uh, you know, keep keeping it real. Uh, yeah. And I'm glad that you have this guy on as a guest because, hey, what he just stated, it shows that one of my typical complaints, and I'm sure many agree, a typical complaint with these foreigners is they're just completely ungrateful. You know, this dude's able uh-huh. to come over here and thrive in the system that my people created. And then, of course, gives them no credit at the end of the day. Oh, you didn't. Give I don't me think a that's dollar, exactly dude. true, man. This okay, so I don't know. Me, you may me, be making assumptions email. about this guy. Let me let me defend. Uh, I just heard what he said. Let, let me defend something that he said, though, because you jump to conclusions about what people say, uh, Aaron. To be fair, this man wants America to stay majority white. Did you know that he thought he believes that? Did you know that uh, Omar, Third Rail, Third Rail with Omar, once America believes America should remain majority white? Yeah, don't mess around with the food permit. Don't mess around with the population permit. Why is he here in the first place? Why is he here in the first place? Because the opportunity is open. Are you not going to take an opportunity, whether whether it's a right or wrong opportunity? You're going to take it. And the law and the law says you can. I didn't come here uh, running around. I didn't jump from space. I came here in a plane. us white Americans did not make the law like that. We were subverted. The Heart Star right. Act, we did, not vote, we did not vote for an ounce of this immigration. If it was up to all of us personally, you would not be here. Please understand yeah, that. You know that right. Dude, you're Im- immigra- about- immigrants are the most creative uh, uh, business-wise. Google, Yahoo, eBay, all the stuff that you enjoy are created by immigrants. Three people have five trillion That's dollars the in, in, in wealth. That's dumbest thing I've ever heard. That, that is it the is dumbest go- thing I've heard. Well, all eBay, day. eBay, it's eBay not, it's not actually that. all that dumb. There's some truth to this. Uh, that, it's true. eBay there's some was truth founded to by the... a guy from uh, an, an Iranian Jew from uh, France. Uh, Google is a Russian guy who who, who, who founded it. All this stuff. Um, uh, um, X. Elon Musk is an immigrant from Africa. So my friend. You have to understand the issue here is now white. I'll probably be more whiter than uh, Hake right here if you look at me. <laughs> America, <laughs> America. Would be great the only thing is he has, he has ginger. Hair. Let me just That's tell you though, th- there's a, there's a, he, he makes a fair point in that a lot of immigrants, whether they're honest or not, they take advantage of opportunities that a lot of Americans are either spoiled and taken care of by their parents, ter- spoiled and taken care of by the government. 
there's a lot of corruption that's happened to normal, real, 100% Americans. Not all, hey, but many. And hey, so there's hey, some truth hey, to hey, what hey. he's saying. Go ahead. Hey, here and there, okay, once in a while you will get that uh, that prodigal, uh, the prodigious immigrant that comes over that might invent them. But then oh, in the yeah, process, yeah. You, you, the you hordes, the hordes are, are not. Are, I agree. And then you get, yeah, you get millions that are unproductive. So yeah. that's a new point. And the things that he was just talking True. about, the founding of like, first of all, who cares about Google, et cetera? But I know when, Google's when evil, man. Like that, <laughs> Bad example. These, 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 <laughs> these things could be founded in their countries. Let's say like China founded TikTok, but we utilize it here. They can go. They can find. They can. They can discover yeah, the unit, and then find the, this stuff. They can innovate in their do own it. country, and then we you can, because do of this thing called trade. Then, you, then, then, you know what I mean? We can utilize it anyway, and they can prop off of it anyway. They don't need to physically be here. But the main reason I hopped on was because he was talking about, you know, some of them dudes that were doing activism uh, in some of them states up yeah, north. Yeah, I'm asking a question. You know, How about blacks? Losers, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no we're, we're, we're going to leave the blacks alone because I, I want him to be able to make his point, Omar. No, but I wanted to ask him a question. Yeah. Should blacks be in America? He has to be honest. Should the black Americans, the ones from the the descendants Africa. of slavery, should they be in America? The, the ones that were brought over slavery, you best believe that this is definitely their country too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, All right. now make yeah. your point because I I got to wrap up. Aaron, go ahead. All right. Well, well, a second ago he was talking about you know the groups doing activism, talking about losers and their parents' faces. So of course this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is what I'm I don't care how cool of a Muslim you think this guy is. Hey, he's over here <laughs> criticizing. He's trying to put down yeah. the people that are doing, you know, legal activism, trying to save the country. You see what his opinion is of them. You see what I'm saying? Oh, who's you trying? You're doing it wrong, here. I said. You need, you need no, me to be an advisor for you. The, the oh, white really, movement the right needs me. The white movement needs me to be their advisor. First of all, who's your leader? He made uh, a valid point, name? man. He was oh, giving, he was giving. Hold on, hold on. He, no, uh, no, no. Let me let me defend you a little bit. You were ma he was yeah. making constructive criticism. Yeah. Aaron. I don't care what this dude's opinion is. He what, what the hell does he know about? No, so is, uh, is, uh, but listen, when uh, I, when it. when the when these people are doing their brown shirts or I don't know, I hey, hey, who style. are you talking about? Patriot Front? Who are you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, well, 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 it's all of them. It's all of them. Whether it's Patriot Front, he was talking about maybe NSC. Uh, Nick Fontes. Blood tribe. Hello, hello. Nick Fontes is half Mexican. The Pratt Boys have a Spanish leader. You guys don't even, you don't even pick up your good leaders. Or, uh, give me some white leaders. You guys are confused. Well, first off, that's, that's a not movement. my leader. That, that, that's not our leader. Oh, well, yeah. Really you're just, I'm going to tell you something. Movement. The reason I said that, the reason I said there's no need for you to come in trucks like furniture, uh, drop yourself in the middle of a hostile uh, environment in a city, and start marching for 10 minutes to feel good. And then you get yourself on the uh, on uh, on what's that on the iPhone. You I'm go with you. I think that stuff is useless. But really? uh, but, silly, silly. but I, I don't oh, hate those guys, and I, I don't think that Omar necessarily hates those guys. He's just saying no, that they're not they're, being they're not uh, being persuasive. It's not the best persuasive tactic. Yeah. Sure, sure. I would I would say that there is there is uh, better approaches. However, I mean it's more symbolic. Here's the thing, though. Hey, okay. the key the key takeaway here is. He was saying that when they were, when he saw them walking around or whatever, he was scared. Man, that is the entire point. No, I was scared. Point. I'm from I New York City. There are more people like you. No, no, they, they don't march here. They're not gonna march here in New York City. Trust me. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I really won't care. I mean, I'm New York. I seen people walk naked in the subway. <laughs> I mean, you think I'm gonna care about that? <laughs> You understand? I see people walk naked. Great call, O'Baron. See, I'm glad that you called in because we then we could clarify these things a bit. Man, it's always yeah. a great call. You take it easy, man. You too, man. Appreciate you. Uh, take please. care. I'll be Omar, it's been business. fun talking with you. Uh, uh, Al in Tennessee wanted to talk to you about this yeah. Christianity conversation all over the map, he's, he's yeah. saying. Rick in Hampton, Virginia had a question about Hamas. I'm going to have to have you back to get to these calls, It'd but we got to end. Let's what? do a fresh show every Friday. <laughs> I'll, I'll think about that, man. Yeah, I mean, it's good talking Friday. with you. Um, it's... Wanna, uh, okay, uh, can I say something before you uh, yeah, close, close the statement? Close okay. it out, 30 seconds. Go ahead. I want to thank Hake. I want to thank you for having me. Uh, and I want to thank the chat and the people. Even if you disagree with me, it's good to have a conversation at the end of the day. And exchange it, that's all. Thank you for having me, uh, Hake. Nice, man.